This time we visit Istanbul, a city that is full of history, culture, and beauty. It is a city that has been at the crossroads of civilizations for centuries, and it shows. If you are planning to visit the city or you want to know about the many things to see and do in Istanbul, we like to show you five places and one activity that will be a starting point to plan your trip to this magnificent city. The Grand Bazaar in Istanbul is a true marvel, known as the world's largest enclosed bazaar. With over 4,000 stores, it's a shopaholic's paradise. The Grand Bazaar of Istanbul is located in the Fatih district. Exploring the Grand Bazaar is a must-do experience. Guided tours are available to help you navigate through the labyrinth of streets and discover hidden gems. The Grand Bazaar's charm lies not only in its wares but also in the warmth and trust of its people. You will be greeted with open arms and friendly smiles. As you wander through the 61 streets of the bazaar, each with its own unique character, you'll encounter a diverse array of shops, from antique dealers to leather craftsmen, and carpet sellers to spice merchants. Did you know that the Grand Bazaar is not only the largest but also the oldest historical bazaar in the world? Its origins trace back centuries to the heart of the Ottoman Empire. Bargaining is a cherished tradition here, adding an exciting dynamic to the shopping experience. Both sellers and buyers revel in the art of negotiation. It's not just about shopping for souvenirs. The Grand Bazaar offers an immersive journey into the Ottoman era. Its grand arcaded main streets and narrow alleys take you back in time. So, if you find yourself in Istanbul, make sure to visit the Grand Bazaar. Get lost in its captivating atmosphere, indulge in the treasures it holds, and create memories that will last a lifetime. With so many attractions of undoubted interest so close to one another and all of them located around Sultan Ahmet Square, an ancient Byzantine hippodrome, this is a must-visit in Istanbul. Sultan Ahmet Square is located in the heart of Istanbul in the Sultan Ahmet neighborhood, a bustling hub of activity that serves as a gateway to the city's rich past and an overwhelmingly popular tourist destination. Steeped in history, culture, and tradition, this historic square is home to some of Istanbul's most iconic landmarks. The Basilica System, the Topkapi Palace, the Sultan Ahmet Mausoleum, and other historical wonders including fountains, obelisks, and monuments may also be seen there in addition to Hagia Sophia and the popularly known Blue Mosque. The Obelisk of Theodosius, a 3,500-year-old Egyptian construction that was brought to Istanbul in the 4th century, is one of the square's most eye-catching attractions. Another sight to see in the plaza is the German fountain, which was built in 1900 by the German government to commemorate the visit of the German Emperor Wilhelm II to Istanbul in 1898. It is situated just in front of the Blue Mosque at the Hippodrome's northern gate. The majestic Hagia Sophia, a Byzantine cathedral from the 6th century, is only a short distance away. Beneath the square lies the Basilica system, an ancient water storage system that once supplied water to the city, and is now one of the most important attractions in Istanbul. The square is also home to a bustling market where vendors sell traditional Turkish delicacies like lamb kebabs, baklava, and Turkish delight. At night, the square comes alive with the sound of live music, and the colorful lights illuminating the historic buildings create a breathtaking backdrop that's sure to leave visitors in awe. The Blue Mosque is one of the most iconic buildings in Istanbul. It was built in the 17th century by Sultan Ahmed, and it is named for the blue tiles that decorate its interior. This is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the city, and for good reason. It's an absolutely stunning building, both inside and out. When you look the exterior of the mosque, you see a very large and impressive building. It's made of white marble and has six minarets, which is one more than the traditional five. The blue tiles that decorate the blue mosque were made in Iznik, Turkey. They are made of a special type of ceramic that is known for its vibrant colors and intricate designs. The walls of the prayer hall are decorated with verses from the Quran, and there are also several chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. 
The mosque is open to all Muslims, and it's a great place to experience Islamic culture. If you're not Muslim, you can still visit the mosque and admire the architecture. Just be sure to dress modestly and remove your shoes before entering. You can also simply sit and relax in the courtyard. The courtyard is a beautiful place to people watch or just enjoy the peace and quiet. Topkapi Palace was the main residence of the Ottoman Sultans for over 400 years, and it's now one of the most popular tourist attractions in Istanbul. It is situated on the Seraglio Point, a promontory overlooking the Golden Horn, the Bosphorus Strait, and the Sea of Marmara. The palace is huge, and it's easy to spend a whole day exploring all of its nooks and crannies. Some of the highlights include the harem, the treasury, and the imperial council chamber. The harem was where the sultan's wives and concubines lived, and it's an incredibly opulent place. The treasury is home to some of the most impressive jewels and artifacts in the world, and the imperial council chamber was where the sultan met with his advisors. In addition to its beautiful architecture and stunning views of the Bosphorus, Topkapi Palace is also a fascinating place to learn about Ottoman history. The Palace Museum houses a vast collection of artifacts from the Ottoman era, including weapons, clothing, and religious objects. It's a truly amazing place, and I highly recommend visiting if you ever have the chance. The Galata Tower is one of the iconic landmarks in Istanbul. It was built in the 14th century by the Genoese, who controlled the city at the time. It was originally used as a watchtower, and it played an important role in the defense of the city. In the 16th century, the Ottomans took control of Istanbul, and they used the tower as a prison, and now it is a popular tourist attraction. The Galata Tower is 61 meters tall, and it offers stunning views of Istanbul. You can take an elevator to the top of the tower, or you can climb the stairs. There is also a restaurant and a cafe at the top of the tower. The Galata Tower is a popular tourist attraction, so it can get crowded, especially during the peak season. If you want to avoid the crowds, try to visit early in the morning or late in the evening. The Galata Tower is located in the Karakoy district of Istanbul. It is easily accessible by public transportation. The nearest metro station is Karakoy, and the nearest tram stop is Tefane. The tower is also open late, so you can visit it even after the sun has set. The views from the top of the tower at night are especially beautiful. If you're planning a trip to Istanbul, a Bosphorus cruise is definitely something you should consider. It's a great way to see the city from a different perspective, and you'll get to learn a lot about its history and culture. There are a number of different companies that offer Bosphorus cruises. The cruises typically last for about two hours, and they depart from several different ports in Istanbul. The cost of a cruise varies depending on the company and the length of the cruise. On a Bosphorus cruise, you'll see some of Istanbul's most famous landmarks, including the Blue Mosque, the Hagia Sophia, and the Topkap Palace. You'll also get to see some of the city's more modern neighborhoods, such as Ortakoy and Bebek. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll be uploading new videos soon. Thanks for watching.